can I use code Gemma as coding assistant for my Python coding? Do you want to find out the answer? Keep watching this video. Welcome to Tech Nuggets. Okay, what and why? What is code Gemma? Code Gemma is Google Gemma based model and it is trained on 500 to 1000 billion token primarily on code. And it supports Python, JavaScript, Java, Kotlin, C++, C Sharp, Rust, Go and other languages. Code Gemma can complete lines, functions and even generate entire blocks of code. Code Gemma model generates code that is not only more syntactically correct but also semantically meaningful. That reducing error. Let us see the setup. For this video, I'll be using my Volama setup on my Windows machine and with the local code Gemma LLM. Let us go ahead and pull the model by issuing Volama command. Volama, Volama pull command, right? Volama pull code Gemma. That will literally take a couple of seconds. It has to verify because I have downloaded already. Now it's ready. Uh, we need a front end to interact with it. For this purpose, I'll be using my open web UI Dockerized version, which I already set it up. Um, I have done another video, detailed video on this. You can go and watch it. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, see whether it's up and verify. Let's go ahead and verify it's up and running by issuing Docker PS command. Okay, that is Docker PS. Perfect. So you can see that it is up. FBA and the port number 3003000. It's running. Perfect. It's running. The setup is ready. Let's go ahead and generate some code. For this demo, let us go ahead and create a Python Flask based microservice. Uh, we call it as employee microservice, which will contain create, read, update, delete operations, it's basically CRUD operations. Okay, I logged into my local host 3000 port and I put my prompt that is create Python program on a flash grid REST API without using database contains employee Python plus with the attributes without using database and follow the coding best practice. It generated a Python code. Perfect. It has a Python class employee. It has first name, last name, email, department, and salary. And also it created an API which has employees, it's a get all and you have employees of create employee, then you have a get employee, you have an update employee and you have delete employee. So it's giving you coding best practices, use a Python class to represent employee entity. Okay and also CRUD operations, and this gives you this plus this JSON if serialization, will fix those parts and and the letters gracefully. Perfect. Let's see this. Next thing which I wanted was uh, to write some test commands. For example, can you, the prompt will be, can you write uh, test commands for the Apple press service? The response is uh, curl. It's using curl command line. Let's try, stick with that. Uh, curl post the content uh, and uh, JSON and uh, curl get. Well, get because one is get employees, there was get employee of the particular employee, then put modify and delete. And also, we wanted to run this through a virtual environment. My next prompt was to can you provide me a command to create a virtual environment called Flask Employee app in Windows? It given me Python in VNV. This okay, we'll go ahead and uh, implement this. Let's see. And also we need a, in the dependencies, let's go ahead and prompt, create a, a requirements, requirements.txt on, txt on the dependencies. Okay, we generated the requirements.txt, that is a flask and Flash to JSON effect. Basically, it's a JSON effect. Let's go ahead and uh, execute this now. Okay, let's start assembling the code. First thing, let's go ahead and create a virtual environment. That's a command is uh, 
Pythonial VNV Blast Employee App. It should create a Python environment. It has done. CD Blast CD Script Equal Put Activate. So your environment is ready. Okay, let's install the dependencies. That is your pip install flask. Ideally, we should run the requirables.txt, but I'm just running the two commands. And pip install json file. There is no nothing called Python JSON file because for example, if you want to check that, you can install Python like JSON file. It will give an error. Okay. So it is JSON. Okay. I copied the main code into separateapp.py and created a new folder called SRC. Okay. That's what we see. And it's ready for running it. Let's go ahead and run this. It's Python um, app.py. Ideally, it should run with the Flask. Voila. Your Flask app is running. Perfect. While it's running, let's find out the URL. What is the URL it is listening and uh, we wanted to check the code, right? So it's running an employee. So your, port, your URL will be local post well in 5000 slash employees okay so that will be a get command so in order to test that let's go ahead and check this 12 commands and we'll go ahead and verify this program okay to test this program there is multiple ways to do one is a simple windows call windows 11 comes with a curl command other one is you can use any REST client such as Advanced REST client or Postman. However, I have chosen this terminal that is a Git Bash. I'll tell you the reason why. Okay, let's go ahead and check the first command that is that. Right. Perfect. So there is no record. It gives you it gives us speed and. Uh, the response okay let's uh, continue our testing that is since there is no record we'll go ahead and create a new record with the post command perfect it's created so the reason why i chose uh, this one because uh, windows uh, 11 default curl command line having some issues with post command it's unable to because you have to have uh, double code delimiter and the multi line having issue. That's why I chose git bash. Okay, since we created one record, let's go ahead and uh, list and see what we have. That is, get employees should return all the records. Perfect, it's returning. There's a one record. Yeah. Okay, next command is a put update command. Uh, let's before that run chat. I'll display what is the current value that is your called NSX get localhost more than 5000 employee. Okay, the salary part is uh, 70,000. And uh, now let's do the put command to make it to 7500. Okay, now again, we'll try the command employees. You should see 7500. Perfect. Would also working. The final test is a delete command. Before that, let's clear this. Okay, so the command will be curl delete the record zero. It's a only one record here. It should delete. Now, let's go ahead and say employees you should see no records perfect 
the final verdict or there are some observations so be ready for your multiple code version even with the same prompt and be patient and uh, try to break your prompts into smaller prompts so that you can assemble the code so that's all i want to share with you today uh, you like the video subscribe like it share it thank you see you in the next video